Hi dear friends, how's everybody doing today? It's been a while since I actually sit here and did uh, all the teas that I drink in a day video. So it's time. I have a day off today, so I think I will show to you guys everything that my husband and I drink for the day. He's actually, you know, making a coffee right now. Like, can you like... Anyway. Um, so the tea that I'm drinking right now, I'm starting the morning with a uh, Santa Secret. This tea though from David Seas is like so good, especially for the season right now. It has a little hint of vanilla, it has a little hint of mint, and uh, it's very, very good. One of my favorites. So that's how I'm starting my day today, and then I'm gonna see what the day brings. But I'm planning on having a very chill day, watch a lot of TV, and drinking a lot of tea. So I'll see you guys later for what I drink more. Okay, I'm gonna go for tea number two of the day today. Ah, I'm really feeling my hair right now. <laughs> I went to the hairdresser yesterday to try to save the fiasco because I tried to go blonde. If you guys watch previous videos, it was... So I'm trying to get now my hair to go as natural as possible. You still can see some of the blonde here, but it's going to take a while to actually, you know, be able to get all the blonde out. But uh, my hairdresser, she's fantastic and uh, she did a great job. I'm very happy with the way it looks right now. Ooh, digressed. Okay. Um... The tea that I'm going to be trying right now for you guys. Um, this is also going to be a review because I have not tried this tea before. It came in my David's Tea subscription box for the winter. And I've been like putting off to try this tea because it just doesn't seem like something that I'm going to like. But let's try it. So I'm trying right now the Silver Bell Oolong. So, I love oolong. Oolong is one of my favorites. It's black tea and oolong right there. That, that's what I would drink all day long, no problem. But this one here, guys, is made with milk oolong. And I never tried milk oolong before, but the idea of having an oolong that tastes like milk kind of doesn't, doesn't appeal to me. I love milk. But for some reason, I love that taste of the grassiness of the oolong, the vegetable taste. So to have that milk situation going on in here. Oh, my nails match this. Nice. This is Olive in June's nail, by the way. Um, it's my real nails, but the polish. I'll make a review on that. Ah, I'm chatty today. Anyway, it says creamy, floral, and zen. And the ingredients here is white tea, milk oolong, milk flavoring. Mm um jasmine green tea pearls so it's a lot going on in here a lot of components that it doesn't even i don't know a creamy and floral i don't know if they match haven't tried yet but uh, it this smell is just giving me the heebie jeebies Ooh, i don't know <sighs> it's just too creamy uh you know those um okay cool don't cry it's fine ah uh, He's trying to go outside just to bark at the neighbors. That's the day we're having today, right, Cooper? You don't have to go outside. You just did. So you just want to bark at the neighbors and ask for treats. I know. You can't do that right now. It's early. Um, anyway. So, do you know those... Um, <laughs> do you know those um, milk candies that you can buy? Um, especially when you go to um, a Chinese store, for example... Um, I've been to quite a few of those amazing stores. You can get great teas in there, by the way, if you have the chance to go to one. But they have like candy and um, and they have that milk candy. If you guys know what I'm talking about, that this smells just like it. I love that candy. But then again, to have that translated into a oolong tea, I don't like a oolong to be creamy. Like um, the salted caramel oolong that David sees. Uh, came out with. Uh, I don't like that tea because for me, oolong has to be oolong, you know what I mean? But I haven't tried yet, so I might be like surprised and fell in love with this thing.
this is delicious and i'm surprised i've been looking at this package here like i'm not gonna try this i'm not gonna try this i'm glad i decided to this is actually very good um and it's good plain on its own i didn't add anything to it and i wouldn't i wouldn't add milk i wouldn't add sugar nothing I still get that grassy vegetable taste of the oolong and then it has the aroma of the creaminess and then in the back of there you can kind of taste that milkiness situation going on um this is actually pretty good and i'm very surprised delicious cup of tea guys delicious silver bell oolong i um 100 recommend this actually um let me see if I tasted the jasmine on this. I really don't get the jasmine vibe too much. Um, it's there, but it's not like making this a weird floral creamy concoction as I thought it would be because I really thought that this would be weird. But it's actually good and it works and... Mm -mm. Mm. that milky taste is definitely there but for some magical reason it works and it's actually pretty good pretty pretty good um would i buy more of this tea yes definitely i would uh, buy a lot of this tea actually i'm impressed mm -hmm. i do want to try this with milk um to see if like a latte would bring out all of those milky candy milky vibes um but plain it's fantastic hmm. so there you have it that is my review of uh, um silver bell oolong but yeah so i'm gonna go enjoy this tea and then i'll come back later to drink some more as i'm doing I sit down all the teas that I drink in a day video. Um, yeah, I'm in the mood today to drink a lot, so we'll see. Um, see you later. Okay, tea friends, another tea today. Um, I'm drinking actually, didn't get to the uh, <laughs> the tea. Um, I'm drinking right now Marie and Toinette. Um, the name is Nina's. And uh, is it tea with like apple and rose um, notes to it? It's very aromatic. You can definitely see the rose petals and the pieces of apples. It's like perfume in a bottle, like in a cup. In a, in a cup. This is like you open this tea and you can smell it in the room. Um, it is very good tea. It's very strong. So if you would. Uh, if you brew this, I would suggest you to just underbrew this a lot. I, you know, was cleaning and doing things, so I end up uh, over steeping it. So I add some milk to see if it breaks uh, the intensity. Still pretty good. Is more on the perfumey side of it though, like that's the only thing. I don't reach for this tea often, it is strong, and it's the first time that I actually add the milk and sugar to it, and it's actually pretty, pretty decent, pretty nice. But it's a strong though, and it has a perfumey taste. But I like it though, it's, it's good. It's a very fancy tea, even the tin, like look at this tin. This tin is so beautiful though. I think they have a store in Paris that you can go and buy uh, all Nina's, Nina's brand, Nina's tea. Um, if I ever go there, that's a store I am definitely going to visit. And, um, but that's it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna drink more tea today, but if I do, it's probably I'm going to go into the decaf route starting now after this cup. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be. Hi, tea friends. I'm just gonna edit this to this video. Um, I'm not drinking any tea right now, but 
I just came home from going and ticking and I found the two teacups that I'm going to show to you guys. They're so pretty. They had a room full of teacups, but when I go in, I really like, only if I really fall in love, then I get it. If not, I, I go crazy. But I got this beautiful, um, look how cute it is. There's a little bird and then the plate, there's two birds. I don't know, I just, I really love this one. And then this one too, I got those two. This is like beautiful leaves and there's a leaf inside there too. But it's like a very fall. Oh my God, I fell in love with it. I just thought you guys be interested to see what I got at the antique shop. Anyway, um, I am gonna end the video here though. I don't think I'm gonna make any more tea. Um, today so thank you guys so much for following me along throughout the day and seeing what i drink today i'll see you soon for more reviews bye